Testies, testies. Okay. Okay. Now, this is Maria Saren. I don't know how you say her name. Uh, she's on a lot of stuff. She's 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 interested in a lot of the same things that that I'm interested in, and I, I've seen her in some Dan Winter stuff. So she's into it, but I strongly disagree that she's an Anunnaki. Okay, this is the second interview. This is her. This is what she sounds like. Well, that I don't have anything bad to say about them. So yeah, that said, you know, and the Syrians. Um, now she looks the part. Hold on, let me let me change what I'm. Let me change my program. Here. Can't have my hat. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Part of me. You like this? You know you do. You know you fucking like this. You know you like this. What's not to like? Hey, what's not to like? With the horse in the back, you got the thunder. This is like a redneck t-shirt. This is like a redneck t-shirt. When they have like the wolf crying up to the moon or some other, you know, animal, bull. You know, you've seen it. So, I hate to say it, I think the girl's a little delusional. I think she wants to associate herself with the Anunnaki. And that's okay. We love her. She's very beautiful. Very white. I think she needs to get some sunshine. Is it, is it wrong to say that? I'm not always the best me that I can be, but I can look at her and tell she needs some sunshine. But she's a beautiful girl. And she's very smart, and she's very proactive in the spiritual community. But I don't think she's not just another star seed. I don't think there's a lot of star seeds on the earth. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think, um,. That old lady that's interviewing her. Um, winner of the Peabody Award, whatever her name is. She's an older lady. She did a lot of the cattle mutilation stuff back in the day. Um, I can't think of what her name is, though. But she's treated people that she thought she was going to get a story from. A certain way and then when she found out it wasn't gonna pan out the way she wanted to and she couldn't exploit them she really was fucking rude to them and shit like that and they needed to get their story out but um, she kind of fucked them over so I don't like her and it's um hold on I'm gonna go and look <sighs> I'm not gonna let this stand Linda Moulton Howe, that lady. Good, you sexy little thing. Well, the Syrians, I have not had, like, I didn't really have, like, a lot of experiences with them, to be honest with her. It's true that I've been, I became aware at 17 that I was part of another um, hybrid program that was not 
with the Greys, and I think I saw some beings that resemble the Syrians, you know, but I, I don't know if they were Syrians or not. I think she's talking to aliens. I think she's talking to aliens. She's a hybrid. I think she's just, um, she wants to be a hybrid. She wants that attention and love from the alien community that she feels she belongs to. Because the Earth man and the Earthlings, we're, so, we're such pieces of shit. The way we treat each other, it's so horrible. I think she's disassociated herself from the human collective because she doesn't like it. And that's what I think. But we still like her. We still love her and we still care about you, Marina. Marina, we still love you and care about you. God bless your soul. Praise him. <laughs>